Hey food fans, welcome back to another episode of Then We Eat. It's been busy in the Then We Eat kitchen this week. It's hitting the fall season and we're canning like crazy. So we've got bone broth done, we've got some tomatoes done, we've got some pasta sauce done. So to continue on for this week, we'll be making spicy dill pickles. Okay, so this is a really easy recipe actually. Uh, in the pot, in a pot behind me, I'm uh, sterilizing some jars. We're gonna do uh, seven one liter, one quart jars today. Um, so all of the ingredients will be based on the seven jars. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some uh, water and vinegar up to a boil. We're gonna start with four cups, because that's the biggest measuring cup I have. So four cups of vinegar, two cups of water. So I'm gonna add another two cups of vinegar and one more cup of water. So we're gonna have a total of six cups of vinegar and three cups of water. And to that, we're gonna add a half a cup of pickling salt. And crank this up and bring her up to a boil. So I'll give it a couple minutes to bring that up and we'll uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so we've brought our uh, vinegar mixture up to a, uh, or I guess, vinegar brine up to a boil. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pack the jars with, with um, cucumbers. I should point out, I put the cucumbers on ice a couple hours before we started the process. You want them as cold as possible. It helps keep the uh, cucumbers from cooking when they're in the hot liquid. So they'll just keep a little crisper at the, as the end result. So let's get some pickles into a jar. <laughs> Looks like that's all I'm gonna get in that one. All right, so once you have the pickles in the jar, we're gonna take a uh, couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna cut these in half. These are fairly substantial uh, from the garden this year. We, they did really, really well. So we're gonna put in a couple of cloves of garlic, and then we're gonna add a teaspoon of chili flakes. Now, if you don't like spicy, then leave them out. All right, and finally, we're gonna put in a couple of sprigs of dill. All right, and then we're gonna add the, the uh, brine. With the brine, you wanna bring it up to about an inch from the top. So right about there. And there we go. One down. We'll get the rest of these filled, and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, once you have the jars filled, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a towel, wipe the tops off, make sure we haven't left any brine or salt or anything on the tops chili flakes. Just make sure they're nice and clean. The other thing is make sure when you got your jars that you check the tops and make sure they're not chipped. If they're chipped they may they won't seal so just make sure the tops of the jars are nice and smooth. Okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the sealers in water. I'm just going to hold them in water for uh, maybe like 30 seconds and uh, just till they're hot and, they're, and the rubber on the bottom becomes a little bit pliable. We'll stick those on put the lids on. Okay, so once you, uh, once you put the lids on, then you just want to put the rings on until they're just snug. Don't overdo it, you'll never get them off. So, we'll carry on here. So, I think what we'll do is we're going to leave it here. Um, we've got probably another 14 jars to do at least, so we'll uh, go ahead and do all that off camera and then uh, we'll come back and finish up the video. Okay, so we're back. We've uh, ended up processing 22 jars. Uh, we did have 23, but there was obviously, must have been a weak spot in the jar and the uh, bottom broke out of it. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't, like that's the first time it's happened in probably 15 years, but it does happen occasionally. It's normally just a weak jar. Um, so, what we did is after we filled them all with the brine, we put them into a pot uh, with boiling water and processed them for about 10 minutes. Then after that, we just checked to make sure the lids are snug, you don't want them super tight or you'll never get them off. Um, and then over the course of the next 24 hours, the, the very center of this lid will pop in. Um, if it doesn't pop in, then something went wrong and you don't want to use it, you can try reprocessing it and seeing if you can get the lid to pop. Normally there's something stuck between the, the seal and the jar itself. So, little tip for you. The other thing is, 
Once they're used, that's it, throw them out. You can't use them again. So, as I say, we ended up with 22 jars of them. Uh, so that'll keep us for a year or so. Uh, what I have here is the lowly pickle from last year. It's the last one that we have. Um, so just to show you what it's like, uh, you can see they're still really, really crisp. Um, so we'll test this one. They're gonna taste the same anyway. Still tons of crunch a year later. And that's why you want to make sure the pickles are really cold before you put them in the jar. The other thing is, the garlic, absolutely don't waste it. This stuff is absolutely delicious and it's really good for you. So, don't waste it, eat it. So, that's it for this video. Hit the like if you liked it, hit the like if you didn't like it. Hit the share button, share it with all your buddies, and don't forget to hit the no notification bell and the subscribe button to be notified when we put out a new video. We put out a new video every Friday at 6 a.m. And also, don't forget, we do put the recipe in the description below. Um, so if you missed it during the video, then you can get it there. We did keep this down to seven liter jars or seven quart jars so that it was easy for you to do at home. You don't need any fancy anything to do it. Um, you just want to make sure that you process it properly. So that's it. We'll uh, see you next time. So don't forget, first we cook, then we eat. Hmm.